This is my life now. Having to both deal with an annoying older brother with a pig face. And dealing with possibly the literal spawn of Satan himself. <sighs> Thursday. Well, today is another day of suffering. Today could have been a good day, but no. As always, mom ruins everything like she always does. Oh, Greg, by the way, Manny and Manrick are both coming with you at school today. What? I only have five words. You gotta be fucking kidding me. What's wrong, Greg? Don't forget this is all your fault. <sighs> Leave me alone, bubby. Susan, wait, I object this. Manny and Roderick are not going to school with Greg today. Or any day. Do you know what could happen? Do you? Are you even listening to me? Unfortunately, Dad's negotiating skills are horrific. I got sent to school for these abominations. I didn't know if they're in any of my classes and quite frankly, I'd pay a teacher to switch me to another class if needed. Simple. All this money is yours. All you gotta do is move me away from the two inbred brothers I have. Easy cash. I can't say no. Unfortunately, due to my luck, they were in all of my classes, and it was the worst in math since I need to concentrate in that class. Sadly, I can't do my previous ideas since I'm broke, so I can't buy my way out of this. <laughs> ah, screw this! Take care of my test for me, Fru. Uh, sure, Greg. Because I have something else to take care of. What's wrong, Greg? Tired of getting your paper snored out your hand, virgin boy? <laughs> Take that, Manric. Ha ha ha, too slow, dingus. Oh shit, it's heading to... Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I meant to throw the paper ball at Roderick, or Manric as he likes to be called now, but it accidentally landed on Manny, and he was beyond pissed. Tell me, Bubby. Was it worth it? Was it worth throwing that thing over your life? Well, I, uh, um, uh, Manny, I, uh, I thought I was a goner, but I came up with a 200 IQ response. Sorry, Fru. Fru, why the fuck would you do that? But, but, Greg, I, I didn't, no, I thought we were friends. Why would you do this? Listen, Fru, I'm actually doing you a favor. <laughs> you let me out, I didn't do it. <laughs> Think of all the great things that happened when I totally annihilate you. No need for taxes and student loans or all that boring stuff. You got to go straight to heaven. Please, you don't have to. You have to hear me out. I didn't do it. <sighs> Fru Smithens, age nine. Current status, deceased. Time of death, 1241 AM. Cause of death, brain death induced by Emmanuel Heffley. After Manny flashed a strange purple light at Fru, he started shaking violently, like he was having a seizure. I'm just glad it isn't me. <laughs> Help me! This went on for a whole minute and no one dared to look at them, probably to not upset Manny for whatever reason. Uh, Albert, what's going on? Uh, should we do something about this? Oh no, Fregly, just don't look at those lights and just mind your business if you want to stay alive like me. Damn you, Greg. Who's gonna do my homework now? After that, Manny crawled through a towel in the ceiling, dragging Fru's body with him. I have no idea what Manny wants to do with Fru's body, and maybe it's better not to think about it. <laughs> Merry Christmas and fuck you, idiot. <sighs> Things may have been hard at school today, but finally the only enjoyable part of my day, Jim arrived. I'm open, I'm open. Pass to me, pass to me. Unfortunately, our gym teacher made a horrific announcement today. We are going to have a supply teacher for the summer games. This may not sound bad at first, but trust me, the jocks are absolutely unruly when this happens. <laughs> Count your days, Greg. I'm going after you. <gasps> With team captains, the teams are usually unfair and unbalanced, so the teacher used a team generator. But the results were horrific. Huh? Is this right? It's... it's... whatever. The teams have been chosen, okay people? Here they are. There will be two teams, and I've chosen the captains for Gregory Heffley and Bryce Anderson. For Team Greg, there will be Gregory Heffley, Raleigh Jefferson, Manrick Heffley, Sharad Gupta, and Fregley. As well as that, you'll have Speed Bump, Albert Sanley, 
Preston Mudd, Peter, and Alex Aruda. That's all the people in Greg Griffley's team. <sighs> and a totally fairly made, unbiased team, Team Bryce. Bryce Anderson, Manny Hefley, Sharif, Tyrese, Big Gus, at least he has a last name. As well as that, Bright Team Bryce will have Trevor, Jeremy, Jameson, Ernesto, and Flamingo. You may complain about the team balance, you may not. Just remember the random number generator chose, and it's final. Usually be upset. Us wimps usually lose against the jocks because we have no goals or stakes in the competition. But that is no longer an issue as we have nothing left to lose and everything left to win. The prize for the summer games is dozens and dozens and dozens of ice pops for the winners. Mmm, I'm just drooling thinking about it. Mmm, I can't wait to win this. Come on team, let's get them. We have a lot at stake today. We need to win those icy poles. So here we come, jocks. The summer games are on, and the wimps are going to win this game. The the wimps? That's not a really good name to choose for us. At home, I was thinking of strategies to defeat Bryce's team in the summer games until the doorbell rang. It was Roderick's band. Hey, Greg, Rod's little bro. Where's Roderick? He hasn't texted me in days. It's a long story. Thankfully, though, I didn't have to explain anything to them since Manric came down to greet them. Yo, what the hell happened to you, Roderick? I'll explain the garage. Also, it's Manric now. Manric, that sounds like the name of your little crocodile snot-faced brother. Nothing else interesting happened today, so I'll check back in tomorrow. Still, I'd rather be bored than be chased by a demonic entity like Manny or Manrock. I mean Manric. Stupid fucking name. Spare my soul, please. Tomorrow's games are going to be water polo and soccer. Monday is football and water balloon fights. And Tuesday is basketball and glow-in-the-dark dodgeball. I'm not that confident in winning, but we gotta try. Let, let's just hope Manny doesn't do anything stupid. But I shouldn't push my luck thinking uh, he wouldn't. <laughs> Bobby, catch this. Friday. Today was the first day of the summer games. And I can say it was inventful for one thing. First off, we had soccer, so we headed off to the field. Remember guys, we have everything to win and so much to lose. We gotta get that ice cream. We gotta win. We had a few minutes of practice, but that only made me realize how screwed we are and how untrashed this team is. Uh, don't hit me in the head. Oh yeah, two goals, two points. Hey Greg, look, it's a butterfly. It's like from that caterpillar book where he ate a nuclear bomb. Albert, make sure to actually aim when you're sh- Oh no, dear, dear mother of god. god. We're completely outmatched. Good work, guys. Soon enough, Gregory Heffley and the other wimps in that team will never get a chance at that ice cream. <laughs> it's all ours. Greg, may I ask you, do you have a plan since you're our team captain? <laughs> I sure do, Alex. And this plan may even make you think I'm smarter than you. Okay, this is who's going to be on field and where they're going to be positioned. Albert, you can't aim, so you should be goalkeeper, especially since you're uh, physically gifted to do so. Fuck you, Greg. Chirag and Roderick, hey! I meant Manric. You two will be defending in the back. Rowley, you'll be in center. And Speedbuff and I will be both in front. Craig, those aren't what the stalker's positions are called. Shut up, Alex Aruda. Now let me keep explaining. First, we let their guard down by giving them an easy goal. Look at me, eating some delicious milk yogurt. Yes, that's what I'm doing. But Greg, we need to not let them get goals. This is stupid. Then Speed Bump quickly rushes in for a goal. What? I thought the wimps were trash at this game. Sorry guys, I missed the block. I switch with P-Mud and he gets a goal. Greg, how is he even going to get a goal? You're not telling us how. And after P-Mud gets a goal, Fregley eats some sugar and switches with Shirag. Oh yeah, I love sugar. Then he gets the winning goal of his sugar rush. <laughs> we won! <laughs> Only the ice cream! I want the ice cream! Wow, Greg, that's a really good plan. It's a very flawed plan, Greg, but eh, it's all we have. And I don't really care about ice cream. See, even Alex agreed. I didn't. Now, I'm not even scared anymore. What's wrong, Rowley? Scared? <laughs> that aura, 
I've seen it before. <laughs>